Hello, YouTube. <clears throat> this is Nine Counter Ladder here with a unboxing and review of Chapstick, uh, which is a Pfizer product. Um, I guess I better tell a little reason why I'm doing this. Um, the other day at work, I was complaining that my lips were really dry and that every time I licked them, they just got drier and drier after that finally came off. And my buddy Jay, uh, he... Uh, he recommended I go out and buy some uh, some chapstick. So I went and I did just that. Uh, I don't have much experience with chapstick. So I just went to my local brick and mortar, asked the attendant, you know, what does he recommend? And, and he said I should probably go with the classic original. Uh, probably not a bad place to start, don't you think? So let's get into the, the, the package here. Uh, we have a cylinder. This cylinder is um, it's black, okay? It's got the logo here, uh, the, the name right here, some ingredients and such. And um, this is the UPC code, 03660081481815. And that's uh, how he rung me up. Uh, it's probably standard for most places. Ooh. And uh, uh, just to let you know, this came in at $2.45. So I'm not sure if that was a deal or not. Uh, I didn't really shop around. Probably will next time, though. Uh, if you guys know any place to get it cheaper, let me know. Maybe online or something. Uh, let's see what it says. So classic original. Yeah. Uh, I remember in the 90s, uh, Peekaboo Street, uh, she she endorsed this product. She was a skier, gold medalist. So we got Good product here. Uh, our active ingredients are white. Oh, excuse me, sorry, a little focus problem. Active ingredients: white petrol petrolatum, forty-five percent of it. Uh, so that's probably that's a that's the stick portion. Um, and then underneath here, sorry, I'm looking through the camera. It's a little hard. Use help protect chapped lips. Oh, yep, that's what I need. Uh, up here also says it's skin protectant, so I'm sure you could use it on other areas. Our inactive ingredients, you know, we got some camphor, some acetyl alcohol, fragrance, isopropyl, um, paraffin, and, ooh, it kind of runs together here. The, the, the machine, when it wrapped it, kind of squished some stuff, so that's not going to give them good points on packaging there. Back down to here, our UPC code, like I said. Some other numbers here, not sure what those are. Might be the the lot number, you know, collector's item or something. Yeah, our net weight is 0.15 ounces for four grams, which I'm sure you can get a lot of sticking out of that, you know. Um, but we'll see, you know. It's, uh, so if you look at it in my hand, you know, it's, actually, you know what, hold on one second. Uh, all right, okay. So, actually, if we measure it, um, we're coming in at about two and a half inches uh, by half, about a half, half inch. Maybe, uh, maybe a little more than a half inch. Um, and just in case in future videos, I'm uh, showing you with my hand. My hand's about seven inches long and across without counting, without counting the thumb. Uh, three and then a quarter. So, okay. Um, that's it for the packaging. Oh, it's white top with black band around here, and then it lets us know that it's sealed for protection, which is good. It's good. You don't want things unsealed. Um, so I guess the only thing left to do is to open it. Just a little twist off thing here. That's a little tough. Huh. It's trial proof or something. There I go. Oh, actually, a little perforation up here on this side. Maybe we have to rip the whole plastic off first, and then we can get in. What's up? Jesus. Oh, look at that. No. Oh. Oh, and there it is. 
Chapstick. All right, so I'm going to give it a whirl, and we're going to find out how it, it compares. Okay. All right, hopefully I can blend these two videos together. Uh, if not, then welcome to... I got something on it. There's like... It like attracted... Oh, anyways, just in case this is a different video. Uh, this is a, a review of Chapstick, a uh, Pfizer product. Uh, this is part two, or maybe it's part of the same video. Uh, see what Movie Maker can do. Um, so I'm gonna give it a whirl. This is my first uh, chap sticking right now. I mean, it feels nice. It tastes like, like oily or something. Like a little, little bit of a. Uh, uh, I don't know, I'm getting like a, it feels like summer or something, you know? Not like pina colada, but you know what I mean? Like, there's something about it. Um, already, my uh, my lips are less dry than they were before. Very moist. Uh, it's, uh, they like slide on each other now. It's, I mean, it feels a lot better. I don't know how long it'll last, but I mean, I got, got, a, got a good amount. I'll probably keep putting it on. Uh, it does also say on here, um, well, it doesn't say you can't eat it, which is good, because, I mean, just in case you got pets or, or children around or whatever, you don't really have to keep this away from them. I mean, a kid could probably put this in his mouth and, like, get, you know, choke on it, or, or actually, you know what? I bet you this could obstruct a windpipe, definitely. Definitely. But it could also be a pretty good cat toy, I'm sure. Cats would love that. Uh, all in all, I'd say uh, out of two stars, I give Chapstick uh, 1.8 stars. Um, yeah, 1.8 stars. I mean, I got to take points off for where the, the packaging gets a little fuzzy or whatever. It's like I pay two forty five for it, so it's not I'm not out a bunch of money. But, like, I just want to see a little more detail put into the packaging. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty good. I, my, my lips are, are moist. Um, and, um, would I buy another one? I don't know. I might, I might. Depends on how chapped my lips are. Um, and, you know, I'll, I'll ask the shopkeep again, like, what he, what he recommends. But 1.8, not bad. It's not bad. All right. Nine chatter letters. Bye.